the world's fastest 40-yard dash ever recorded by John Ross, who came in at an astounding 4.22 seconds. And this is Tom Brady, running the same distance in 5.17 seconds. Only one of these players will be making the world's fastest team, and it's pretty obvious who. Sorry, Tom. Not the goat of speed. John Ross, the fastest player to ever play in the NFL. And it's only fitting he's 99 speed and 99 acceleration. And everybody else on this team who's ran faster than a 4-3 is also going to be 99 speed, 99 acceleration. But as their times get higher, their speed and acceleration will get slower. Our second wide receiver, Rondell Melendez, who ran a 4.24, only 0.02 slower than John Ross at the combine. And the former Chicago Bear, Marquise Goodwin, who ran a 4.27. We've got the speediest wide receiver core in the history of the world. And it's only fitting that Rich Eisen is our coach. I mean, he did also run the 40-yard dash. Obviously, we didn't go with Tom Brady for our quarterback, so we did go with the fastest quarterback in the history of the NFL, Mike Vick, who ran a 4.3340. So he comes in at 95 speed and 95 acceleration. But for a while, the record was held by someone entirely different before John Ross, a running back who Gus Johnson said... <laughs> Which is why he also has 99 speed and 99 acceleration and <laughs> doesn't look anything like Chris Johnson. But as our second running back, we have Dre Archer, who was a former Madden Ultimate Team legend at 99 speed, 99 acceleration from his 4.26 second 40. And I thought our tight end would be Travis Kelsey or George Kittle, but surprisingly enough, in 2006, Vernon Davis ran a 4.38 second 40. Ugh. Ah. Leaving his speed and acceleration both at 97. But the craziest part of our offense here is our offensive tackles. Teron Armstead and Lane Johnson, who ran their 40-yard dashes in 4.71 and 4.72 seconds. Those are some big boys moving at crazy high speed. And our offensive guards, Brian O'Neill and Aviante Collins, both ran in 4.81 and 4.82. And the slowest player on our offense is still insanely fast for his size. We have center Chris Chester who ran a 4.83. And speed has always ruled Madden for years. But how important is it really? As the fastest team in the history of the world, does this mean we have the best Madden team in the history of the world? Once I show you the defense, we're going to be trying to win a Super Bowl with this team. And if we lose, I'll film my own 40-yard dash and expose my embarrassing time to the world. I was always the kid that got tagged first in school because I was never that fast. I really don't want to do this. But surprisingly enough, the defense is where the world's fastest team will really shine. At 85 speed, 85 acceleration, we have defensive tackle Aaron Donald, who ran a 4.68 second 40 for as big of a man as this is. But surprisingly enough, there was a defensive tackle that was even faster. Because Kalijah Kansi ran a 4.67, which is the fastest defensive tackle time we've ever seen. But the most surprising defensive tackle was big boy Fletcher Cox, who ran a 4.6 Seven seven second forty. He is absolutely massive. How on earth do you run a four seven seven? And Jordan Davis ran a four point seven eight. These guys are huge. Now the cornerbacks are insane, but we'll get to them in a second because first the linebackers with Micah Parsons who ran a four point three nine second forty and isn't even our fastest linebacker coming in at ninety seven speed ninety seven acceleration. Because we've also got Devin White who ran a four four two and Devin Bush who ran a four four three at the same time at 439 is Micah. We've got Isaiah Simmons and Shaquem Griffin, who was our fastest linebacker at a 4.38. And of course, our number one cornerback. I had to remake him in Madden because he's not in franchise. We've got Coach Prime himself. I'm flat out coming. Primetime Deion Sanders at 99 speed, 99 acceleration, who ran a 4.27 second 40-yard dash. This one was probably the least surprising. But he's actually our slowest cornerback because at a 4.23 second 40 just 0.01 behind our fastest of john ross we have kaylin barnes and at a 4.26 second 40 we have dj turner and Tariq woolen himself all of our dbs <laughs> Our 99 speed, 99 acceleration. Our fastest safety is Zedrick Woods, who ran a 4.29. And then we have Nick Cross at a 4.34. Percy Butler at a 4.36. And Tyson Anderson also at a 4.36. But my favorites were the fastest punter and fastest kicker. Mitch Wisnowski ran a 4.63. And our kicker, Michael Badgley, ran a 4.94. Our team comes in at an 85 overall with, not surprising, a really good defense. Let's go ahead and sim to the playoffs and pray that we make it. We finished the season with a 13-4 and four record, and our world's fastest team is 
shaping up to be one of the best Madden teams we've seen. But is it the best? We've still got to win a Super Bowl or I have to film my 40 yard dash, which is going to be horribly embarrassing. Chris Johnson had a hell of a season though at 1300 yards on the ground. And we only had one receiver over a thousand yards. Jerome Mathis, Goodwin, Vernon Davis, they all kind of fell off, which has me really, really surprised. But that probably explains why our offense was so bad. I guess Mike Vick was just not getting it done. We managed to get the first seed in the NFC, securing ourselves a first round bye. And we're going to end up playing the winner of Cowboys versus the Giants. <laughs> Looks like the Cowboys choked again. We're facing off against the the New York Giants in the divisional game. Here's where we take over and the pressure really starts to mount. Can't lose any games here. Have no wiggle room for error. I want to feel the speed from our team. This entire time I'll have to be playing with coach suggestions, which is going to add a little bit of difficulty for us. Despite our great defense, the Giants immediately start moving the ball. Isaiah Simmons, man, couldn't get back there. We can stop this. We can get the quarterback. Come on, Danny Dimes. How are we not picking that off? I'm on this guy in the middle with Devin White. Gets, give me a pick. Give me a pick. And we force a field goal attempt after a stop on third down. He missed. Oh my God. No way. He just missed this. But then I make a crucial mistake that speed can't account for. Oh, I try to force it. I'm on these guys. I'm on these guys. Pick. Oh, Isaiah Simmons is letting me down so much. But sometimes you just need a little user lurk to help you out. Pick. That's mine. I just lurked Danny Dimes. Devin White! No one's catching him, man. Not even Danny Dimes. He's too fast. Well, that's how we get our first score. I'll take it. And I'm quickly starting to see why this defense was number one. Oh, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Let's go, Danny Dimes. It's trash. Take off. Take off, Mike Vick. Oh, yeah, he's so fast. Oh, yeah. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. Don't fumble. Thank you. But the offense is still struggling despite the 99 speed. He's so much faster. It's Marquise Goodwin. He's 99 speed. And despite the 99 speed, we won't need it for this crazy field goal by Michael Badgley. We end up going up 10 to nothing. And at this point, the defense starts to take over with their speed. Fletcher Cox. Yes. Great pass, Vic. Got Vernon Davis up the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! He's too fast! And for this one, I'm just gonna let Danny Dimes' lack of arm strength Hail Mary play out because this could have been really bad. They caught it. Are you kidding me? Hopefully, if we can get out... Oh, my God. See? Now we might be gone. We can just juke this guy out. No! How do we not juke one guy out, Chris? By running the ball again. Come on! Oh, he's almost gone, dude. And Chris Johnson is just carrying us. Yes, dude. He's just so fast. But in hopes of being smart with the fantastic defense we have, we settle for three points and go up 20 to nothing. I gotta get the running back. Gotta get the running back. Gotta get the running... I'm, I'm on a pick! Danny Dimes, what are you doing? How did you even make it to the playoffs, guys? You're getting rolled. At this point, I felt super comfortable with how well we were playing. We took a 23 to nothing lead and our defense absolutely went to work. After steamrolling the Giants, it was time for our conference championship. The Saints narrowly beat the 49ers 31 to 28, so we'll be taking them on in the NFC championship. There. Oh, despite the speed, we couldn't keep up with Isaiah Simmons to pick that off. Devin White had a huge game last game. Let's see if he can do it again. He doesn't need to. I'm across the middle here. Can we get some pressure, boys? Please. No, that was such a good dot. They ran it again on third and one. But just like our first game, our first touchdown ends up being a defensive one. This time, it's prime time, Deion Sanders. High step into the end zone, just like that. We're gonna speed move. Oh my goodness. Look at how fast he got around the edge. That speed move is insane. And now our offense wants to pitch in with Chris Johnson going to work. Makes a man miss. Gets outside. Let's go. Come on. And we also have the fastest quarterback. His name is Mike Vick. Breaking tackles. Oh my. Just for CJ2K to finish it off. Gets in the end zone. 14 to nothing. All right, Devin White, third and one. They're probably going to run. Oh, Fletcher Cox. First, we'll have to read the defense, and we do. Oh, get outside, Vic. Dude, this guy is so fast, but Vic is faster. Yet, despite the 99 speed, I still can't win on a streak route. It has me confused. We got 99 speed on the outside. How are they so fast? And then we take a huge sack. No, Vic. I had a wide open corner route. Oh, he's wide open. He's wide open. Get outside. Oh, my goodness. Okay, a little read option. We're going to have to hand this one off. Chris Johnson gets outside, breaks a tackle, stiff arms, jumps over a guy. Running the read option yet again. Come on, Vic. Come on, Vic. Get outside, Vic. He just runs right around him because he's too fast. Marshawn Lattimore. Who? And just like that, we end up securing the W in the conference championship. 
We're going to the Super Bowl, baby. But we're going on all Madden, so it's going to be a lot tougher. Matching up against the 15-2 and two Chargers. I mean, who would have thunk it? Not me. Immediately, all Madden was way tougher. Slants, just slants all over. We couldn't get a stop, and he's just wide open. And then they were running the ball super well until a third and two. Let's try to sack Herbert. Whoa, he threw that ball so fast. I'm on this guy on the inside. Gerald Everett. Okay, I'm on this slant route here. I'm on the slant route. They're running the ball. Bold. And no, our, our cornerbacks may be fast, but they cannot block shed for their lives. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's hoping. But on a third and two, we make a goal line stand and make them settle for a field goal. All right, three to nothing. All Madden QB draws just don't hit. And we're getting no blocking up front. Chris Johnson on the screen pass. This worked well for us before and we're getting held come on chris you gotta get us two yards here buddy he does oh he broke that tackle oh my gosh he's too fast Vic hits him in stride he catches it but the scramble on the other hand well Vic takes things into his own hands that would be great if we can get into the end zone with 20 seconds left he does he does cj 2k take off Vic. oh my gosh so much space so much space. We're going to slide down. I don't want to fumble. But then Vic sells a wide open pass for us, and we still can't win on a streak. I truly do not get it. Until we just try to force something a little bit too much for Michael Vick. No, he didn't. Oh, no. He didn't have the arm strength. And when we had a great opportunity to take the lead, before I know it, the Chargers drive down the field and get into the end zone. We give up an easy score to Mike Williams. Now it's time to let our MVPs take over. No, wrong block. You blocked the wrong guy. And speed does not equate to catching. No, we can't hang on to the ball we're fast but we can't catch right over the middle wide open this little stretch play oh joey bosa i'm audible into verticals please catch it please thank you okay seriously i'm seeing how much of a difference maker speed actually is he's just so fast let's go Vic. but it can't get you out of every situation until cj2k so open they forgot to cover him they're gonna two minute drill against us we've got to be able to stop him here this is the hall of fame all stars cpu all madden I can't get any pressure, and they're converting nine yards on their first pass. Not good. Not running it. Good, 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 good. Get outside. Get outside. No pressure. And he's just wide open, dude. I can't get any pressure. Please pick. Pick. He caught it. Are you serious? It's time to get Vernon Davis back involved. Great catch. Please, Vernon. Please catch it. He does again. No. Oh, my God. But A is so open, Vic. Let's go. Get out of bounds. Get out of bounds. Oh, so open, Chris. Get the first down. Okay. And with 34 seconds left in the game. Okay. So we've got a four-point lead. We have to keep him out of the end zone. When prime time, Deion Sanders shows up. Pick. Pick. Deion Sanders. And he's going to run away from the competition. Super Bowl champions. And in the meantime, I won a Super Bowl with a zero overall team. You can watch that one right here.